What's going on, everyone? Today's the 17th of August, 2023. We're going to talk about the next chapter for Coinbase. And if you guys know anything about the stock, if you really stay in tune with some of the news that's going on with Coinbase, you already know about this. Because just yesterday, Coinbase gets the green light to go ahead and allow U.S. investors to trade futures in cryptocurrency. Is that a positive thing? Is that something brand new? Is this something that's going to move the price in the stock? Probably not. Let's go ahead and talk about it. You guys can see right now, I already highlighted a couple of things on the article. Coinbase Global said it received regulatory approval to offer U.S. retail customers regulated crypto futures in the coming months, sending its, sending its stock up as much as 5%, whoop de doo before the market opened on Wednesday. The country's largest crypto exchange said it secured the permission from the National Futures Association, a self-regulatory organization designated by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC. Now, the approval comes as Coinbase squares off against the Security and Exchange Commission. So Coinbase is still going forward with its business plans as to accumulate and become more profitable, even in the midst of them being sued by the SEC of them selling securities. And Coinbase like, all right, cool. But think about it. Is this a good thing? Because Coinbase filed for approval to offer regulated crypto products shortly after its IPO two years ago. In 2022, it acquired a CFTC regulated futures exchange, FairX, now rebranded to Coinbase Derivatives Exchange. So this has already been in the working. This is not coming as a surprise that they're offering futures in crypto. As a matter of fact, the company has since launched trading in Bitcoin and Ether futures for institutional investors. Once they purchase this exchange, that's when they allow Bitcoin and Ethereum futures to be traded to institutional investors. Now they're just trying to broaden out the reach. Now they're trying to bring it to U.S. investors and then eventually, I think they said they're going to try to take it to non-U.S. citizens right here. See that? Earlier this year, it also announced plans to spin out a derivatives platform for non-U.S. citizens. So Coinbase is really trying to be global because they understand the constraints that this regulatory system has in the United States is stopping its business progression. Like if you're trying to grow and if you understand that cryptocurrency is global and is not local, then you definitely need to try to institute ways to get around these Pence points, All right? So let's go look at the stock though, because this is what I'm worried about. Did a video in Coinbase right there on August the 10th, and I'm not surprised. Neither should you if you guys saw my video. I was telling you that the market in Coinbase was still weak and we're still trending in that direction. So I may not get rid of this price prediction yet. Why would I? Especially as we continue to see this price trade below these two important lines. We may have to come through and change this price prediction once we see Coinbase break above $85 or $84.50 and also break above our downtrend line. Neither is the case right now. So if you wanted to take profit right now in Coinbase, do that because that's the name of the game. The market on the low yesterday, you already had 8% from when we originally did the price prediction. There's nothing wrong with taking the bag. In fact, that's what we're all about. Profiting. Okay, so let me do a real quick look into the market in Coinbase. Here it is on the three day chart. This is where weakness really came in there. And we're still seeing increased selling into the market in Coinbase on this last completed three day price bar. Here it is on the five day chart. Okay, this is the completed five day price bar right here that the arrows pointed down to, still letting us know that the market is weak. All right, so I'm not going to change anything. Just let you know if we continue to get weakness into the market at Coinbase, don't be surprised to see the market come all the way down to the low of this five day price bar, which is $74.52. All right, so around that area there. So I'm not going to extend it down no lower yet. I really want to see your buyers are going to come in around $76 first. If they do, then we already hit the ultimate target. If they don't, then like I said, look for the market to come around to like $74.50. That's it. Give me your thoughts. Hit that like button. Check me and also subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you think it's a positive thing that they have been approved for crypto futures trading for U.S. citizens. Is that a good thing for the stock? Let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.